गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कशन ऑन द ई एल सी बी टेस्टर किट्स नाउ वी आर यू कैन सी द टेस्टर ई एल सी बी टेस्टर किट विच आई वीड डिस्कशन अबाउट द टेस्ट हाउ टू टेस्ट द ई एल सी बी फ्रॉम दिस किट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू दिस बेसिकल इन्फॉर्मेश दिस किट इज द दिस किट इज अ वेरी पॉटेबल किट इट्स विद द हैंडल यू कैन कैरी फ्रॉम द एनी वेयर फ्रॉम ऑन साइड्स और ऑल्सो यू कैन टेस्ट फ्रॉम योर लेफ्ट now this is the kit uh, name is the uh, acw standard uh, and this model is 1812 elb test kit now this kit is useful in the rcd gfci and elcb testing purposes this uh, gfci means the ground fault current interrupter circuit is now this kits uh, whenever you open the kit first uh, here you can see the here is instructions is showing and the all uh, machine parameters are showing uh, here and this rotary switch is provided this side you can see from uh, nearly here is the you can see instructions for the how to operate the this uh, instruments and uh, here is the uh, all the instruments about uh, how to uh, see the values and this is the connecting props here is the rotary switch which you can uh, select from 3 milliampere to 500 milliampere this is a large parameter you can see from first time this is a very very good range from this type of instruments here is the 0 to 180 degree phase shiftings and you how to you can start from which uh, uh, cycle of the uh, waves and here is the push button for to start the instrument whenever you push the button display is on running and this is a battery leds uh, if we here is a green lights uh, glow then that means battery is okay here is the parameter showing in this uh, lcd you can see here the phase shifting also it start from 0 degree to test if you you can change you want to change then here is this is the from second cycle uh, waves here is the line to earth voltage showing that is a line and earth voltage is now is 0 0 present because we could not connected here the connections now the basically the frequency is showing from the ac terminal is 0 0 frequencies <coughs> here is the rotary switch rotary switch uh, we can uh, select from inject uh, any type of fault uh, between the 3 milliampere to 500 milliampere from between the line to earth okay now we are connecting the props from here to elcb for the testing of this device now we start the elcb and uh, now we can test this uh, elcb from this elcb tester <coughs> so first uh, uh, we are starting by the press this button now here see first i created the fault that is fault is the neutral and earth is here fault showing the red lights because here ground is not connected properly only the thing is that uh, line and neutral is connected ground is not connected so now after connecting the ground now we can see the fault is clearing Uh, these two uh, lights are showing the <coughs> uh, green glow led that means the test is uh, this instrument is ready for the test here is the showing the voltage 235 volts line and earth and the 50 hertz frequency <coughs> so <coughs> now we start the test also uh, first the main instruction is that if here is the red uh, lights is uh, showing that means uh, do not proceed for the test only the uh, these two green lights is glow then we can uh, further process from these instruments or these kits if uh, these two led is not uh, glow then uh, uh, the thing is that uh, some where something is problem from the connections or the lead now if the fault is created from uh, from here if the line is connected in the ground and the ground is connect uh, uh, neutral is connected with the line then there is also some uh, fault is created uh, showing from the red leds now we can see the from thing from this sides this here is the see that uh, this the red lights is glowing because the phase and neutral connections is a cross connection 
so now uh, before the processing uh, the test first we connect the yeah, connections uh, with the standard connections now this wiring connection is uh, perfectly uh, green light is glowing and the neutral or the fault is not showing the here now we can uh, test from uh, here first uh, if we want to test from 3 milliampere 5 milliampere 7 10 15 20 30 uh, we selected by here the milliamps uh, for uh, injecting the milliampere to, for the leakage to uh, line to ground so this uh, uh, running line to voltage is uh, 238 uh, by clicking the this press button the LCD is showing the battery voltage first 8.9 volts uh, first uh, cycle here we started from 0 degree angle line voltage frequency the instrument is ready for the test and now uh, by pressing this push button uh, we can enter it uh, 3 milliamps because the rotary switch is selected for 3 milliampere so whenever we enter the 3 milliampere here the uh, display is showing the how many how many times the uh, milliampere leakage from line to ground uh, is uh, applied for the elcb and how much time is taken by the elcb for the test uh, to trip the circuit here the now we can press the button this elcb is uh, tripped in uh, 0.184 seconds and the tripping time is less than zero percent because uh, the tripping time is uh, very accurate because this is the 184 milliseconds taken to trip the device now the device again uh, tripped at this time now we can test further for the second time uh, by selecting if we inject the 5 milliamps for the tripping time now we also start against the instrument for the second time test uh, when we press the 5 milliamps here is the time is decreased for the tripping 0.113 the earth leakage is created and now if we injecting more than the this uh, capacity beyond this 100 milliamps if we pressing for the difference from uh, earth uh, leakage is now we can further test again for the 100 milliampere leakage the elcb how much time taken we can see we uh, pressed and 16.169 seconds is taking to trip the elcb so this is the test procedure for how to test the elcb from elcb tester now the thing is that uh, this is pointer instrument services elcb we can also change the earth leakage uh, tripping settings from here now at this time uh, here we uh, selected 5 uh, 10 milliampere sorry 10 ampere overloads and the 6 milliampere leakages if more than 6 milliampere this elcb trip uh, at the at the moment when the el is more than the 6 milliamps now we increasing this el uh, from uh, 0 to 32 milliamps uh, you can see from here the up down and uh, down button and up down now we can uh, up this value up to the 32 milliamps okay you can see here the by pressing up button uh, we are selected 32 milliamps uh, that means uh, uh, up to 32 milliamps this elcb is now not the trip at these times uh, we can uh, see this instrument if we inject the 3 milliamps from here to this elcb uh, this by pressing this button you can see up to 299 holdover is uh, finished from this uh, kit time this kit time is also you have to see 2.999 seconds uh, not uh, more than these instruments of uh, inject the ground leakage for the safety purposes uh, this elcb is not uh, tripping at this time because uh, we are selecting the 32 milliamps from uh, our uh, this uh, elcb now if we injecting against uh, more than 3 5 7 10 10 milliamps if now we again uh, try to 10 milliamps uh, then we see what happening if we injecting the 10 milliamps now the time is uh, flowing test in progress but this 10 milliamps this is not tripping because of that 32 milliamps we have selected for the ground leakage conditions 
and up to this condition this elcb is not tripped if we want to set uh, this uh, earth leakage from down then we can also set through this uh, points okay now uh, thank you for uh, viewing this video and uh, you can if any questions then you can also call me on my mobile number is uh, please write down my mobile number is 9033543187 and if further query of any type of industrial electrical instruments and elcb rcd gfci instruments then you can call me on my number thank you